the intro because I end up doing like a 20 minute Colombo bet or something like that. <laughs> so, let's get going, baby. I said, yeah, I'm working out till 10. And he goes, ah, oh, because I needed something to fill a spot. At which point I went, ah, oh, I'll be going. I'm going, oh, no, no, don't worry about it. I don't want to call No, no, you don't understand. I'm a comedian who lives in Belfast. I will move heaven and earth for a comedy gig. <laughs> uh, so I'll start off my, with my regular gym. Has anyone ever watched threesome porn? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen threesome porn, it's great. I've seen... <laughs> I was watching this one three important video, it was like, it was two guys and a girl, right? And the intro was just, you know, the guy, one of the girl, one of the guys and the girl explaining the guy, you know, what he can expect from what's about to happen. And then the guy, he's talking, and he says possibly the weirdest thing you could possibly say, given what was about to occur. He turns to the girl and goes, Hi. he's not going to make you gay, is he? <laughs> homophobia is irrational. The most irrational form of homophobia is homophobia towards the man you're about to have sex with. <laughs> oh, no, I wanted to try it on with a man. He's not going to make this fucking gay, is he? <laughs> oh, dear. And then he says something even weirder. He goes, oh, you know, I want to try it on with a man, but you know, he's not going to bring it on a mariachi band, or is he? Like, it's not the sex that makes it gay, it's the fanfare that makes it gay. <laughs> Like, it's only gay if it comes with a musical score. Yeah. <laughs> like, they could be going out for hours and all of a sudden he pulls out a tambourine. What kind of man do you think I am? <laughs> you can take your tambourine and... This with you! <laughs> but yeah, I was expelled. Part of the premise of that joke is, you know, not being afraid to pour your sexuality, you know, like... Uh, which was which made it uh, uncomfortable telling the joke because when I told that in Dublin, the, the MC went, "Oh well, it looks like William came out." So then I couldn't be in the back going, "No, no, it was just the one. It was just the one." <laughs> I'm fucking man for you. It was just that one time. <laughs> <laughs> which can only happen from someone who has not had one attached to them their whole life. <laughs> you know, I can only imagine that a blowjob from a guy would be a revelation. I would just be there, ah, oh, ah, oh, yes, exactly how I imagined it would be. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what I don't want that sex. Of course, I realize the concept yes. works both ways, you know. I realize that when it's been our time to be going there, that you guys have been, <clears throat> yep, know what I would be doing with it if I was going there. <laughs> ah! Fuck, it's not a scratch color. <laughs> so as you can probably tell from that joke, I'm autistic. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'll tell you what, you guys, like, as a, like, as a, someone who has autism, uh, who has autism, I can tell you it's miles better than smallpox. <laughs> <laughs> Eyes not been hit by like some horrible virus, a vaccine would cure, you know, it just sort of like, and yeah, a lot of people have like opinions about autism. You know, if you have a kid on autism, at least see how they feel with it before you put them down. <laughs> 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 after I do the free free support oh. stuff and there was one night where I went as you can probably tell I'm autistic dead silence just the room you could hear a pin drop <laughs> the room in unison went oh no <laughs> ah, we've been laughing at a spastic this whole time <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't tell you, there's a, a difference in the way you res like respond to people with, uh, with autism. For example, like that night, there was a lady on bar. You know, she was being a wee bit flirtatious. You know, she was sort of like, ah, uh, oh, there's your wee drink there, babe. Ah, oh, is there anything else I can get for you, babe? And you know, it's just sort of, it doesn't mean anything. It's just, ah, oh, I didn't know I was going to tip. I didn't tip. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> But like after I told that joke, after the next time I went up and got a drink, she went, Oh, is there anything I can get you, sweetie? Oh, what happened to me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so brave going up and telling them jokes to for them people. <laughs> oh dear. There's a yeah, what else is so one of the things I like I have special interests. I have a lot of special interests there and uh, one of them is I'm learning German, uh, which you know, everyone has the same response when you learn German. You, are you some kind of Nazi? No. Jeez, there's more interesting things about the German language than just that history. Besides, do you know how you say uh, turtle in German? Schildkote. That means shield frog. <laughs> <laughs> like, they just have some, like, just, the, like, the, the word for sloth is faultier. Lazy animal. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's called. <laughs> you know, then you get, you get more proficient in the language, you know, you start being more confident, and you know, when you meet Germans, you say, hey, I'm learning your language. They go, you're some kind of Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're not all like that, you know. <laughs> you know, it's a, you know I'm, like, I, I'm not a Nazi, of course, you know, which is hard to explain when you're telling someone that the W is pronounced with a V in Wehrmacht. <laughs> 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 and a handful of history <laughs> I was supposed to go with Lebensraum, but I didn't know anything I could grammatically correct in that word that anyone gets wrong. Uh, what was it say? Uh, oh yeah, so I live with Protestants. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's funny. <laughs> you know, I live with people like, uh, you know, like, they're very, they're very Protestant. They're, they're, as in, they're not loyalists, as in they keep nailing shit to my wall. <laughs> <laughs> he sees when he will do the dishes. You could just tell me this. <laughs> <laughs> they always tell me. <laughs> but uh, like, I, I was telling this because like, uh, I come from a very like, Catholic background, and my mom, well, I lost my keys one time. And then my mom was like, oh, you know, you need to say, say the prayer to St. Anthony, you know, oh, St. Anthony, please come round, something's lost and can't be found. And uh, I told that to my, uh, my Protestant housemate who responded. <laughs> That's pagan. <laughs> okay, I was just trying to find my keys. <laughs> Didn't realize I was going to get into a theological debate. <laughs> but no, I come from uh, I come from Neri, and uh, that's a yay Neri. Oh, hello Neri. No, it's one of the things. Like, how many of you guys are from Belfast? You're natives. Good, because I can slap her about Belfast. <laughs> You know, like, because uh, what I find about people from Belfast, when you come from a small town, is they're all fucking dicks about it. <laughs> like, oh, Nuri, that's a shithole. No. It's like, like, Nuri, like, it's like, I've had people insult me who come from shithole areas of Belfast. You know, I've had people insult me from their burning tire. Ha ha! Your tire's no big in it! <laughs> <laughs> right? Exactly, because we have fire talks through the door. Yeah, exactly. Chicken burgers the size of your fucking fist. <laughs> Fuck your like, pretend Mexican cuisine. We have our pretend Italian cuisine, as, as in La Dolce Vita. I'll tell you what, you know, I, I feel like people from Belfast are just very spoiled. You know, they've got lots of things going on around here. So you see, like, smaller towns. Yeah, not as much going on there. So it must be shitter. You know, like, you know, but Newry doesn't have the homelessness problem that Belfast has. Newry has all of one homelessness, homeless person, the town mascot. <laughs> see, you're all laughing, but the one Newry person probably went, oh, Marty Bogrell. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what we call our one homeless person. Uh, he's signed, well not help, but he's signed. <laughs> but now I live in, uh, now I live in, uh, I live with people from Lisburn. And now we can both argue about which tiny city is better than the massive one we picked around. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael and William Callahan, thanks so much for your time. Woo!